Freya, my beautiful white blonde cat, just taking a nap while we take a look at macro lens and close-up lens. Here in my uh, left hand is a Canon macro lens. It's um, EF mount. It's 100mm f2.8 USM and as you can see from the switch here, it can focus down to 0.31 of a meter or 0.48 of a meter. And you have the option also of autofocus or manual focus. Okay, so looking at the close up lenses, this is a Canon 58mm close up lens 250D. And this is uh, a four diopter um, magnification close up lens. And the other one that I have on the table here is a 500D, which is a two diopter uh, close up lens. Now, the 58mm comes into play because close up lenses are sized or made to fit in the filter thread. Of a lens. In this case, I bought 58 millimeters because this 100 millimeter macro lens has a 58 millimeter thread. Um, they come in various sizes. Uh, the bigger the close up lens, or sorry, the bigger the um, filter thread, obviously, the more glass and the more expensive. So when you screw it onto your onto your lens it's as simple as, as that and the other one is exactly the same so it, it, it fits like a filter, it looks like a filter but it's not a filter it uh, comes in little plastic uh, containers with a little bit of uh, material in them to uh, stop them moving around inside the plastic uh, container. And basically that's all it is to attach a close-up lens, not just to this uh, Canon macro lens, but uh, the original idea of a close-up lens was to be able to add it to the front of a regular lens that you wanted to do some um, close-up photography with and the diopter strength of the close-up lens would improve your ability to take uh, close-up shots of flowers, insects, um, anything that you were trying to do. The big advantage with using one with a macro lens is especially one that's got autofocus and has got a pretty good range of close focusing itself. The close-up lens will do the same thing to the macro lens as it does to an ordinary um, lens, which is improve the close focusing ability and your ability to get um, much tighter uh, images of, in my case, I prefer prefer flowers and I prefer insects and if I can get insects on a flower that's a huge bonus and that's one of the things that uh, I aim for and when I show uh, some of the images that I've taken with the uh, combination of the macro lens and the um, close-up lens you'll see that uh, we're getting really in tight on uh, flowers and insects and you get some very pleasing images from it. Now what we have here is uh, an image stabilized um, uh, Canon uh, zoom lens, it's a 24 to 105 it's uh, an L series uh, lens, EF mount um, 
image stabilization and USM and the thing to look here in the um, little window is there is a very limited macro range built into this lens there's no um, option settings uh, there's no um, there's no little uh, buttons to uh, to flip for different close focusing range this little um, window where it says macro um, that is the close focusing range that you have and it's actually not bad so when you're purchasing a uh, something like a zoom lens have a look and see if it has any uh, macro capability or close focusing ability already built in because that will help you a lot. The one thing that uh, I would say as I, uh, again is this is a 77 millimeter thread front element so obviously buying a close-up lens is going to be a bit more expensive than um, just buying the 58 millimeters you can see 58 on top of a 77 so um, if you are buying something uh, like a zoom lens with some uh, macro or close focusing ability um, think about whether or not you want to go down the road of um, getting some close fo close up lenses to enhance the close focusing because obviously um, it's going to cost you more if you do it that way one other thing just to go back to this um, 100 millimeter macro lens um, I bought this used uh, from a reputable camera shop that have a good uh, grading system for the um, lenses that they sell used so this was actually an 8 plus or a 9 so out of 10 that's uh, a very good quality so there's no damage no nothing physically wrong everything works uh, no damage to the threads at the back here for mounting to the camera and of course no uh, glass damage either so um, I was able to get this and uh, the close-up lenses in, in a much smaller size which are more cost-effective I think than the um, uh, aerials just come in to have a look and see what uh, is happening um, than maybe buying this uh, zoom lens but you know this is a 24 to 105 the other is a fixed 100 millimeter maybe this has more utility than uh, the macro lens depends on your interest um, it depends on of course how you buy your um, equipment one other thing to bear in mind with the um, close-up lens especially something like a Canon close-up lens or Nikon or any of the other um, reputable manufacturers of uh, close-up lenses um, the more expensive um, you're going to get multiple ele glass elements uh, glued and sandwiched together and ground to a uh, high quality to reduce aberration, re reduce any distortion in the images that you're uh, photographing um, I have seen on Amazon sets of close-up lenses which are basically selling for about 10 or 15 dollars each um, those uh, frankly I, I wouldn't buy them I would decide on uh, one or two or maybe three uh, diopter strengths of uh, close-up lenses and uh, buy from a reputable uh, manufacturer um, who, who is known for producing good quality glass um, there's no point in uh, saving money um, on your lenses and then not getting um, distortion free or images with very minimal distortion so my mode of operation is to screw the screw the close-up lens onto the 100 millimeter and obviously the uh, 100 millimeters is um, attached to the camera 
in my case a 5D Mark III and then I will go hunting for my uh, subject and if I need to I'll switch out the um, close-up lens for the uh, two diopter close-up lens but otherwise so this is the two no this is the four diopter that's correct uh, the two diopter will allow me to stand back just a little bit further and not scare any insects or birds or anything else that may actually be moving and running away exposure as I said there's no change in the exposure uh, just by adding uh, or removing the close-up lens so just shoot normally I tend uh, to shoot um, on, on a series of images rather than just one image at a time so I get five or six now the next um, few shots on this episode um, are going to be taken with uh, this 100mm uh, macro lens and one or, or both of these um, uh, close-up lenses. One of the reasons why I don't stack the lenses, the close-up lenses together and then attach that combination to the the lens is because we've added considerably to the front of the lens um, the front of the lens is effectively here now so that will affect uh, your ability to get close the higher the magnifi magnification like the four diopter you'll have to get much closer to the subject compared to when you're using the two and a half diopter and we're using them together here in this combination but also you've got to start worrying about uh, vignetting and cutting off at the corners of the image mm -hmm.